Take me out to California Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. On this channel I largely talk about positive mindset, self-development, mental health type stuff and also about being a mum. I'm a mum of two girls and sometimes I talk about family life and what being a mum entails and juggling and balancing life and all that kind of stuff. Today is Christmas! So Merry Christmas everybody first of all. However, on this video I want to talk about if today has been tough for you. I think that when it comes to Christmas we are led to believe that we are supposed to have this magical time where we are surrounded by loved ones and people that we care about and it's magical and it's Christmas traditions and films and love and that isn't the case for everybody and it might not be the case for you. And so I wanted to address the elephant in the room that you know sometimes Christmas is rubbish and it doesn't feel that great. I know that from my own perspective this is my first Christmas with first Christmas morning with just me and the girls so my husband Ross died in 2017 the first year we spent with my mother-in-law the second year my mum and dad were here and this has been the first Christmas that we have been just us so that is new and I know that many of you guys will be in the same position and perhaps for some of you it's the first yeah without somebody that you love whether it's a partner or a parent or a friend and that can make it a really challenging time and maybe you aren't with the people that you love this Christmas my dad is over in the desert in Oman working this Christmas he's not around us this Christmas and he's found that really difficult I know that many of you have to work many of you are from um, you know parent families where the parents you've separated in which case you might not be with your children and that's hard and there are many reasons why Christmas just isn't that great for people so if today has been tough for you it, if it has been challenging I just want to reach out and say I'm sending you loads of love and the expectation that Christmas is supposed to be magical is part of the problem and if today was just really challenging for you and it wasn't you know how it seems in films or magazines or what you saw on somebody else's Instagram feed then that's okay it really is okay because aside from you know aside from all of that tradition and all of that excitement about Christmas it is just a day and we sometimes put so much scope on this stuff that and New Year's Eve is another one and I've spoken before about in the past how I've made New Year's Eve quite a negative time because I used to dwell on the things that I hadn't done and I think we do the same with Christmas in that we think well it has to look like this and these people had you know an amazing Christmas Eve and, and Christmas morning and they all had matching pajamas and an amazing Christmas tree and so many presents um, and I couldn't do that or I couldn't afford that or actually Christmas was awful and we it ended in a family argument because let's be honest when you squeeze all your family together at Christmas and you expect everybody to get on that's not always the case for every family in fact I'm sure most families at Christmas at some point have had an argument between them and sometimes it can be really awful because people have a drink and it gets this expectation of it to be special and emotions run high and it just doesn't always turn out the way that it's supposed to so you might be ending today going I've spent too much money don't feel amazing maybe I drank too much I ate too much I had to spend time with Uncle Nobed and didn't really feel amazing about that and and um, well, I had an argument or me and my partner fell out because of the stress of the day the kids were arseholes whatever it just might not be you know this picture perfect Christmas so I just want you to take a moment to just breathe just take a moment to allow yourself the let off that it's okay and if tonight you need to have a cry or you need to eat some more of the chocolates or you just need to cuddle up and go to sleep all of those things are okay and what I would really advise as I did in one of my previous videos about anxiety at Christmas is get back to basics and really just be kind to yourself because it's exhausting 
Christmas is exhausting, isn't it? It really is. It's a, such a busy time. There is so much going on. Whether you've got children or you haven't, it's just a busy time of year and it feels quite hyped. And if you're a person like me who actually doesn't get their energy being around groups of people, that's not how I get my energy. I love people. I am a confident in a confident introvert, I would say. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm an extrovert. I have moments of being kind of extrovert because of you know that performer aspect of my personality but actually around Christmas time when you're forced into being around people for longer periods of time I actually find that quite challenging and it's not because I dislike the people I spend time with I'm really lucky I've got great family and friends around me but that doesn't mean that being around that energy all day isn't challenging for me and I, I know there's many of you that feel the same so I shall absolutely this evening be just crashing out and sitting in silence probably with the fire on and um, just doing as little as possible so I really urge you guys to do the same and if today was challenging because of grief because that's a huge thing at Christmas just be kind to yourself you miss your people you know I miss my husband Ross immensely and I think at Christmas as a parent that's hard because you are doing it I am doing it on my own as much as I've got absolutely tons of support and I really do it, the the ins and outs of the day-to-day -day stuff comes down to me and you just sort of I think at Christmas time you're thinking they they would have been here they'd have enjoyed this the kids would have loved this we'd have laughed at this and and that's just tricky you know it is tricky and there, there are things that come up because of that as a as a person who has lost somebody like um, somebody who's lost a partner so the girls this week got a bit upset because they realized they hadn't got me a present and I forgot and sometimes I'm quite good with that like birthdays and things because I'll preempt it and allow them space to get me something because I know they want to obviously my husband would have done that and and sometimes family members are around and they do it but you know it's it's not their job to do it either and so this my daughters were like mom we need to go out and we need to use our money but can we pay on our own and it's nothing for you it's for someone else and it's just my my heart like that stuff's challenging and what we've done um what we've done over the last few days is we have thought about our neighbors so I was saying to the girls how it's really important that we recognize that not everybody enjoys Christmas and actually sometimes this can heighten people's emotions and they can feel quite sad and you know there are older people perhaps living on their own that younger people living on their own and people who might be away from friends or family or not have that support network at all and they might feel really sad so what we did is we went out and we um, made some neighbor letters and we've been posting them around and just trying to spread a little bit of joy and, and hope that you know from my point of view I just say to the girls you know you never know when somebody needs that love and that care and that human connection and they might pick that up and they might go I, I feel seen I feel that someone cares I feel like I'm not completely alone on this planet and um, they might well go what the hell is this <laughs> Put in the recycling bin but equally you know you just never know and I think it's just always really nice to be nice and Christmas just heightens everything doesn't it so it's not that we shouldn't be kind all of the time because we should and we should always be reaching out but I think Christmas because of the expectation put on everybody for it to be magical when it doesn't feel magical and it feels sad or stressful or frustrating or you feel angry about whatever all of the stuff that you feel isn't Christmassy and you feel like Scrooge um when all of that happens i think everything just feels bigger doesn't it you know it just feels much bigger and i know that there are many of you and i've had messages over the christmas period and today just saying you know that you just felt really about christmas and then you feel bad about feeling bad about christmas and then it's this self-fulfilling spiral of like miserable christmasness which is just not a word christmasness um, but yeah, so I just want to reach out and just remind you that you are going to be okay and it, the Christmas period doesn't have to be anything that it can be your way, done in your way and if today was rubbish then so be it and have a bar humbug about Christmas and it's okay. So what? Be the anti-Christmas anti, 
anti-Christmas person. It really doesn't matter. Sometimes stuff just doesn't work out and it doesn't have to be perfect and maybe things didn't go right and you burnt the turkey or whatever else. All this stuff happens and do you know what? It's just a story, it's just a moment. Just keep walking forward and tomorrow is a brand new day and you can make it whatever you want it to be. It's simply that. This time of year is a crazy time of year full of stuff and excess on every level and if you enjoy all of that then wonderful and I know some of you have had a fantastic day and probably this video is not for you but it's just for those that really didn't find today that fantastic and it was challenging and I just want to send you all my love and just be kind to yourself genuinely if you are watching this right now and you need it what whether it's Christmas day you watch this or over the Christmas time just be kind to yourself you deserve to be happy you deserve it no matter what you think you've done no matter what has gone on previously you we are on this planet for like this much time okay whatever you believe about an afterlife this much time on this one and so you have to live it how you want to live it and if that means on Christmas Day you don't see anybody and you sit in and you watch I don't know horror movies and it's completely the opposite of Christmas spirit then great have you had a nice day great don't do anything just because you think you should be doing it and Christmas is full of the shoulds so leave the shoulds at the door and um, make tomorrow fantastic and I'm just sending you loads and loads of love and Merry Christmas to you, whether it was merry or it wasn't. Take me out to cut.